This is Mike Farley looking at barbecue tips. Farley Pool Designs. Pork chops is one of my family's favorites. So uh, that's something that goes on the grill with a lot of regularity in our home. So I like a, a nice thick chop. You can get, I get a family pack like this most of the time because everybody wants some and they like the leftovers. Base for uh, the chops, some people really like to use an oil. Some people use nothing. What I found that worked pretty good, and I've been doing this for several years now, is actually I use a mustard. And here's the thing. I hate mustard. Do not like mustard at all. Do not like to taste the mustard. But when you cook these, you actually don't get a mustard taste. What we're doing is we're putting the mustard on here to help give us something to bind the spices onto the meat while we're cooking it. So that, that's simply what it's for. Nothing else is to uh, give us that. Just come in here, spread your mustard out. These were a center cut chop, which they're all pretty good. They're not great, but most of them are pretty nice, evenly cut, which is really helpful in the cooking process. Have to get all that mustard on your hands, wash the mustard off. And I have used the same barbecue mix, and I will write it down in the link below whose website that comes from. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I will look it up uh, versus buying a, a rub. So I like using a rub on, this is the same rub that I use on my ribs that I use on my pork chops. And uh, we make it up big batch. And then we, we seal it in a Ziploc bag when it's not in the container. Uh, so the extra doesn't dry up and uh, all stick together. So got the uh, spices on one side. We're going to go out and check the grill. Let this sit for a second. The grill's getting really close, so we'll flip these over. Oh, well, there's the timer. Got our hands washed off after we handle the meat. And just repeat what we did on the first side. Pretty simple. So grill, we want about 450 degrees. We want to cook these chops so they're about 140 degrees internal temperature. These are two things that I use to monitor the internal temperature. That's one thing you will definitely need. We'll season these graciously. So, if you allow too much air to this, it gets kind of clumpy. It doesn't come out as well. That's why we store it in a Ziploc bag, so it doesn't do that. Okay. Doing an indirect cook with the pork chops, which means we have a place setter inside the big green egg. That way we're not getting direct flames on the pork chops. So, we've got some flames jumping up through here. So we're going to go about four minutes at 450 and we'll take a look. So we're about four minutes in. So what we want our internal temperature at is 145. Typically it's about 12 minutes cooking to get to that point uh, with this temperature and this thickness of chops. Okay, we got about 12 minutes in, and we're gonna start checking our internal temperature to see how we're doing here. So internal temperature, we want to be at 145. You want to make sure you don't put it in right next to the bone. We're getting up there about 120. Probably need about four more minutes. Probably be real close. Now some people want to take it to somewhere about 140 instead of 145 because they're going to let their meat rest a little bit and they feel that it's still going to go up in temperature. Uh, however, from a safety standpoint, it's best to cook it to 145. He's all flipped over. I'm get them arranged on here nicely. Okay. 
Okay. Let's check some internal temperatures now. Okay, let's check the internal temperature. One forty, about one forty five. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do here, got about 145 on all of our temps. Uh, we're going to drop it here. We're going to shut the lid on the egg up here. We're going to shut the vent down here on the bottom. And what that does is denies oxygen. And so what happens is this thing starts smoking big time. Uh, so we're going to get a lot of smoke. It's all captured in the green egg itself. So we're going to get a little bit of flavor in there, uh, added to the whole situation. So we'll give that a couple of minutes and then we'll pull them off and let them rest for 10. So you can see all the smoke coming out after we've waited the time. So let's lift the lid. Oh yeah. What all that smoke come out. Oh, those look awesome. So checked everything earlier we're at 145 so we're just gonna pull these guys off let them rest up a bit and then we'll be ready to eat here shortly so mike farley farley pool designs looking at barbecue tips barbecue pork chops it is a favorite of my family's uh they like it almost as much as uh your barbecued ribs or a ribeye. Awesome! 10 minutes is up. Our pork chops have rested. You want to give them at least 10 minutes, but I, I can't wait. I've been kind of hungry. So we've got barbecue uh, corn, we've got some asparagus, we've got a pork, awesome pork chop. Oh, that, that is amazing. Nice and moist. It's great. Shouldn't talk with my mouth full, uh, but what can I say? This is Mike Farley, Farley Pool Designs. Hope this has been helpful for you. We'll uh, talk to you all later. Have a great one.